This is a brief tutorial on Edmodo. If you're a teacher and haven't signed up for an account, simply go right here to where it says I'm a teacher and sign up. Your students could then click on I'm a student. If you already have a username and account, simply put in your username and password and log. Edmodo is a great way to connect with your students, to interact in different ways. As you can see right here, we have all sorts of replies, to communicate messages, even turn in assignments that are completely paperless. Share directions, as you see right here. And even share documents and links. Creating a class is very simple. Simply click on Create. Choose a grade. Choose a subject area and click Create. You'll be generating this code right here, which you'll need to give to your students if they are to log in. Now it's time to work with your class. When you click over here, this lists all of your different groups or classes that you're working with. To post a note, an alert, an assignment, even a quiz or poll, simply choose which icon you'd like. Make sure that you're sending it to the right class and click send. Say you want to share directions with your class that you already typed in a Microsoft Word document. You can type your message, click file, choose your file, and click open. It automatically attaches. Go ahead to send it to your class. You can even have kids turn in an assignment. So we have a sample, we have a PowerPoint. Give it a due date, attach the file, and you can send now or you can schedule when to send it. When students want to turn this in, they'll simply click on turn in, and they'll get a screen that looks sort of like this. Students will need to attach the file and then click submit. You as a teacher, get this. Let me show you a class that already exists. Here's a class that I've already had. I can simply click on an assignment. I can upload it. I can give the student feedback. I can give them comments. And I can even give a grade. When I click grade, it'll give that student a score. I can tell when students log, log in right here. I can tell when they turn in assignments right here. And I can communicate directly with them. I can type my message in. And I can type my person in. And I can choose which one I'm sending it to. And then click send. Another nice thing is, is if students want to join Edmodo, they need a special group code. They need this group code over here on the side in order for you to get in. You can reset this at any time. You could also send out a hyperlink here for kids to get in. You can set up folders for students to access with materials. You can Reset passwords if you need to by simply clicking on the person. You can assign small groups. Let's say that I want to create group number one. I simply click on new small group, type in the name, and when I click on the group, I can drag over my participants. If I don't want them in the group anymore, I can simply click out. What that'll do is it'll allow you to communicate with only this group, and you can even grade that particular group. I often do it with multiple periods. If I have period one and period two class, I create groups for those kids.
Edmodo also has a library of files that you've uploaded or sites. You can filter by the types of files that you've uploaded, links that you've shared. You can also access Google Docs. One of the most unique features of Edmodo is that you can use the planner feature where you can see when assignments are due throughout the entire week or the entire month. You can also set up your Edmodo account so that you can receive alerts whenever an assignment is due. Students can set it up so that they can actually get text messages if they'd like when say an assignment is due. Creating a quiz is very simple. Click on quiz, create a quiz, choose what type of question you'd like, what the name of the quiz would be, how much time you want to give students, and add your first question. Different types of questions will require different types of formats. If I want to choose the correct answer, I just simply set this. If I want more responses, I can click right here. When I'm ready to open up another question, one of my favorite types of questions is fill in the blank. Simply put an underscore and it creates a little box. You'll need to type in the correct answer. When you're ready to assign the quiz, if you'd like to show students immediate feedback, you can click this box. If not, uncheck it. Click on Assign. Give it a due date. And then you could choose to schedule it, say for the next day, at a certain time. Click OK. And when you do that, you can hit Send. As you can see, Edmodo is a very easy tool to use.